Hello everyone. Now we will move on to our next topic. Our next topic is system variables or system fields as a part of a BAP programming. Now, what are system variables? They are predefined variables. It means we will not declare those variables we will directly, directly use in the program. Suppose simple example, we make sum of two numbers, then what we did, we declare two input variable, we declare one output variable, but whenever you will go for, or whenever you will refer the system fields in the program, there is no need to declare because they are already defined in the SAP itself. Now, whenever you want to check any of the system field, they are available in a SAP structure, SYST. So I will go to SC11 transaction code. You all know you can check the structure through SC11 transaction code. Pass the structure SYST. Choose the third radio button data type. And it is a SAP structure because name is not starting with Z or Y. I am displaying the structure. This is the structure for system fields. And you can see we have so many fields available. So you can check the system fields into this structure. And you can use in the program depends upon the requirement. Now. Whenever you will refer these system fields into the programs, how, how you will refer or how you will use in the program, you can refer or you can refer in the program by using SY hyphen, whatever the field name you want to use. Suppose simple. This sub RC, it is a system field. If I want to use in my program, how I will use, I will simply refer SY hyphen SUBRC. Suppose I want to refer TAPEX. So how I will use in the program SY hyphen TAPEX. These all are the fields which are defined into SYST structure. You can simply check. Suppose just now we talk about sub RC. So this is the sub RC. Now, suppose just now we talk about TAPEX. So this is the TAPEX. So whenever you want to refer or whenever you want to address this system fields into your own program, how you will refer? You have to pass SY hyphen field name. Now, we have so many system variables available. I'll say so many system fields available, which we can use in our program. As of now, so many topics has not covered, but whatever is possible, we will see the practical of those system variable. And whenever slowly, slowly topics will proceed, you will use all those system variables. So we will do the practical of system variables. And I will start with a very system, very simple system variable, psi u name. The system field is u name. Whenever I will refer in my program, I will refer by using sy hyphen. So what is the purpose of this system variable? It returns the logon name of the user. Suppose I am the user. How I logged in in the user? By what name I logged in into SAP? I logged in into SAP by this username, by this username. So if you want to return the username, so we have a system variable. So we will simply, simply return the username. We'll see the practical. It will make more sense to you. I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. Suppose I'm saying ZPRG 
program for system variables. I'll click on to create button. I will give that title demo on system variables. I will choose the type as executable program because we will execute the program. I will save it as a local object. I will activate the program. So we will write the first system variable that is psi name. I will write tab. I will use chain operator. The name of the user is I am going for a character literal. This whole is character literal. And how I will refer the system variable sy hyphen u name. It is a system field. It is a system field. And how you are referring into program using sy hyphen. So see, I have not declared this variable at all. See, if you are going for other variables, you have to declare using data. I am not declaring that variable. Whenever you will double click, see, it is navigating to SYST structure itself. So these all are predefined fields and how we are referring in our program using SY hyphen. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. I'll run the program using F8 and you can see it is returning the logon name, logon name of the user. I logged in by this particular, particular user name. So with the help of name, you can return the name of the user. I'll write a comment, name of the user, name of the logon user. I gave the comment using star because it is at the start of the line. Now we will go for one more, or I'll say two system variables. We already covered do loop and while loop. And most, most important learning will come here because maximum people will do the mistake at this level. Now we will discuss two system variables at this point of time. Psi tabix and psi index. Most important learning. We cover do loop and while loop. Using this system variable, we can check the current line index in case of do loop and while loop. Using this system variable, we can check the current line index inside a loop at internal table. I'll use the word loop at internal table. We have not covered that topic as of now, but is the loop at internal table. In the future, when we cover the topic loop at internal table, at that time, this system variable, we will check. But if you want to check the current line index in do and while loop, you can use this system variable. Now, maximum people in case of do and while loop, they are using this variable. So this variable will never give the current line index. If you want to check the current line index in case of do and while loop, you have to use this system variable, this system variable. We'll see the practical so that you can understand fully. I'm writing. 10 times and I will go for end do. Now I will simply write the this system variable. Write. Suppose firstly I am writing write psi index. Then I am writing write. Okay, we will display in the single row so that you can understand. We are displaying two system variable side tabix. And you can understand fully is side tabix is working inside the do loop or not? 
I'll show you in that debugging mode so that you can understand fully. Important part is going on. I'll put the breakpoint. I will show you both the system variables. This is our site tabix. This is our site index. Now you can see I'm doing F6, first iteration of the loop. Psi index is one, psi tab x is one. First iteration done. Second iteration, see psi index is two, but psi tab x is one. Third iteration of the loop, psi index is three, but psi tab x is still one. Fourth iteration, fifth iteration, sixth iteration, seventh iteration, eighth iteration, ninth iteration, 10th iteration. Have you seen site tabix is not changing at all? Which system variable is changing? Psi index. So what is psi index? Just see, psi index result is 1 to 10 because we our do loop executed 10 times. Current line index 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. But psi tabix is still 1, still 1. So it's a very, very important point. If you want to check the current line index in case of loop at internal table, you have to use side tabix. But if you want to check the current line index in case of do and while loop, you have to use side index. Most, most important variable. And many people will do the mistake in these two variables. So, what is the summary of the topic? What we studied up to this level in this video, we discussed system variables are predefined variables. You can check the system fields into SYST structure of SAP. Now, whenever you want to refer in the program, how you can refer the system fields using SY hyphen. And in this video, we discuss three system variable, SY hyphen U name. It returns the logon name of the user. Then we cover two important system variable. Psi index will return the current line index in do and while loop. Psi tabix will return the current line index in case of loop at internal table. When we cover the topic internal table, at that time, we will discuss this system variable in detail. We will do the practical at that point of time. I told you at the starting, we cannot do the practical of each and every system variable, but whenever they are done, will come, we will discuss those system variables. Now, in the next video, we will discuss the practical of few more system variables. So that's it in this video. Thank you.